Step three is to insert the pressure regulator. This is to get CNG to the engine. A working PSI for an engine is between 35 to 65 PSI. Now CNG is stored in a tank at over 3,000 PSI. So you have to bring down the pressure of the gas and this is what the pressure regulator does. It can be mounted anywhere in the engine compartment depending on the availability of space. We then reroute the coolant hoses making a loop through the pressure regulator. When a loop through the pressure regulator is made, it provides heat to the regulator and steps the PSI down from 3,000 to 3,000. Step four is installing the receptacle. The receptacle is basically so you can fill the tank. So we need to find a good place to install the component into the engine compartment, not near the battery or the exhaust. Run high pressure lines from the receptacle to the CNG tank in order to transfer the gas from the receptacle to the tank. Also run a line to make a connection from the refueling receptacle to the pressure regulator. This is done so that we can get CNG from the tank back up to the regulator. So the CNG install is finished. The injectors are in, the receiving valve is in, the regulator is there, all the wiring to the ECU in the car is there, all the plumbing to the rear tank is also in, the tank is done, a nice good professional job by CNG Burmak team. Basically it's ready to go. So this car is now clean, energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Taxi drivers and transport companies in particular save the most with conversions because of the long distances they travel. The winner of the NGC CNG conversion kit, Jonathan Sonoman, is a perfect example. He usually spends about $150 to fill up every two days. At this rate, his gas bill is about $2,250 per month. With the new CNG kit, it will only cost him $20 in gas per day, allowing him a savings of $1,650 per month. So let's head down to Duma Enterprises Limited to check out the installation and see what Jonathan has to say about this. So I'm here with Raji from Duma and we're about to talk about conversion taxi to CNG. Hey, thanks for coming Jason. No problem. So what made you all decide to get into CNG conversion? Well, we saw a growing demand for CNG after the fuel price had increased. Mm -hmm. And um, we also saw it as an opportunity to earn some extra revenue. And it also fell in line with our company's policy in terms of implementing more environmentally friendly solutions. So was there any difficulties in obtaining a license? Difficulty? I won't say difficult, but more like challenging. You see, in order to obtain a CNG service license, you need to apply to the Ministry of Energy and fulfill certain requirements by the Ministry of Energy and other governmental organizations. Once you do that, you will get a CNG service license. I mean, CNG is the fuel of the future after all. Well, that's great, man. Well, let's go and check out this car and let's do some conversions. And yeah. for once, I wouldn't get my hands dirty. Let's go. Let's go. My name is Christian Rampasad. I'm an auto technician at Lumo Enterprises Limited. Today we'll be performing a CNG retrofit on a Nissan Y12. 